Good morning. I have come up to my local woodland this morning because um, I am going to try some woodland photography. It's not really my usual type or style of photography, um, but I'm kind of probably getting a bit stuck in my way, so time to challenge myself a bit. Um, I don't normally find woodland photography that rewarding because to me it looks just messy and busy so what I'm going to do today is try and use a, a 50 to 200 lens to try and um, zoom in on certain things try and cut all the busyness out of the background um, so yeah a little challenge there let's see how it goes it's a pretty bright sunny day today but uh, at the moment the sun is still low and behind the hill so there's still a lot of shadow in here there's no really like bright contrasty bits so um yeah i don't really like bright too much i don't like sunshine well i do like sunshine but not in my photos this is the lens i'll be using today it is a nikon dx 55 to 200 f4 to 5.6 g ed vr2 it's not a great lens but it's all I've got so this is a typical kit lens nothing stellar not amazingly sharp but it gets the job done for not very much money and weirdly I kind of enjoy that it even has the plastic mount that everyone moans about but this one's I've had it about five years and it's not worn out yet so I really wouldn't worry about rubbish like that going to be leaning heavily on the vibration reduction today just simply because trying to focus at 200mm on something close with it wobbling around in the frame is really hard work. No idea how I've ended up with a Tamron rear lens cap on this. I've never even owned a Tamron lens um, and also this has been shot on the Nikon Z50 with the Nikon F to Z adapter. Manually focused on the Nikon 35mm f1.8 G at f1.8. Look how gorgeous the sunlight is reflecting off the rainwater on this tree. Um, and normally I'd be thrashing through these woods on my mountain bike at about 30 miles an hour. But unfortunately a tree leapt out at me and I piled into it shoulder first and I've uh, broken my collarbone on my right hand side and really screwed my shoulder up to the point where even lifting a camera to my eye is unbelievably painful so I'm having to use a tripod a lot more than I would like to uh, which is a real pain because I hate tripods despite using them for loads of uh, long exposure shots which seems to be most of my photography which is ironic anyway let's wander on and see what we can find found a composition here it's a bit wavy uh, it's really hard to hold still at 200 mil this zoomed in so let's see what we can get we've had to resort to manual focus and focus peaking to get this because the autofocus just won't pick it up, it's too close and it keeps wavering around backwards and forwards. I have found this little group of mushrooms which is exactly what I came up here looking for today but I think I'm going to focus in on this little group here. I think they're going to be my main subject but then I noticed these two little guys hiding down here so I might have a go at them as well. These leaves here with the sunlight behind have caught my eye, I think they look good. We have a bit of a portrait shot. Well that was a good few hours spent wandering around in the woods, hopefully I got some good shots. 
Um, if I have, you've probably already seen them. Although autumn-y, uh, we're still on the green side rather than the orange side of autumn. So maybe I'll have to come back in two or three weeks' time. Who knows, I might have to come back in dark with some lights and try some real moody nighttime woodland autumn shots. Um, I like to make life difficult for myself. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.